Hey everybody, hope you're all doing really good. Today I'm going to be working on an LG Stylo 6 that was sent here with a dinged up display connector. Now I've already poked around on this just a little bit and it looks like we probably could go ahead and salvage this. Like I think I could spend some time and probably bend these pins back into place here and stuff. But the edge of this connector here, this has been like completely compromised and there's just no real strength here. So if we if we send it back out like this, I could probably put some glue on there and, and, and strengthen this up to where it would hold. But I would like for this phone to be able to survive future screen replacements. And uh, this is just, this is never, I mean, this is never going to be good. So we'll just, we'll just go ahead and rake that on off there just like that. That'll be fine. So for this repair, I'm going to be swiping this little connector off of a donor board. Now, while removing our donor board from the donor housing, I see that uh, somebody else has already had a little bit of a struggle here with this camera. These cameras on this model, they like, they, they pop down into this little slot and they seem to get stuck in there really good. Well, there we are. Now with those cameras loosened up, this thing should go ahead and come up, on, come on up out of the housing there. We'll just want to be really careful not to just like start yanking on things. So here is our beloved connector that has not been smashed. Well, it would appear that our donor connector has also been smashed. Hmm. Okay, so not that great, but it is salvageable. So our donor component might look a little bit scruffy, but it's not near as scruffy as this. This is pretty bad. It's got this end cap smashed. And it also has this end of it smash. It's sort of like a double whammy. So I'm going to start warming this up with some hot air. Then we'll get some flux on there. Right on up the other side too. I'm just going to sort of casually lower our melting point here. This connector sticks like way out on the ear of a board here. So it's not going to have a whole lot of thermal mass. I expect that it's just going to heat right up and come off of here like easy. Oh yeah, I'm already backing off on my hot air because everything is getting all floaty and melty on me. That's exactly what I want to see. Let's go ahead and flood this other side. All right, I've got this flooded okay with some leaded. Now I'm just going to go ahead and warm it right on up and slide this sucker off the board. There we go. Now before that cools down, I'm going to go ahead and flood all of its joints with some leaded solder. I expect to be seeing a whole lot more connector repair with uh, Apple now going to be selling components to end users. To me, I think it is a wonderful thing. I think it means we're going to have smash connectors to repair for a nice good long while. So I'm just going to go ahead and keep on fluffing this up till I'm comfortable it has enough solder on there. I'm really just trying to get as much as possible on there while having it keep a nice uniform dome shape, although sometimes it doesn't want to take it. Now I'm going to clean this up with some isopropyl alcohol. Pretty good right there. I'm just going to go ahead and keep these pads tinned like this. Let's go ahead and grab our donor component. To keep from melting this component, I'm going to use an abundance of flux. And flux is going to help us with a clean removal. And it also provides some thermal shielding from my hot air. So I'm just going to kind of cover the whole entire thing in flux like that. All right, here we go. We are just going to start warming this thing up gradually. Being very careful not to burn it because this happens to be the only single connector in the shop that will make this happen. Almost there. I can see some of it starting to melt. And we can pick it right up off the board, just like that. Now, when this is a clean, unharvested connector, especially whenever I have really good access to the pads on both sides, a lot of times I will just, I'll wick it off clean and I will solder the entire thing by hand. I'm going to be sitting this in place with hot air and then I'll most likely be going through and soldering each and every pin by hand just to make sure everything is connected really well. 
This connector's not actually perfect, but it will work. Uh, this customer is interested in a working phone, but also this phone has really important data on it. I believe photographs are their main concern. All right, so I'm just going to start warming this up. Oh, we're just going to kind of start easing it right on down into place here. We want it to melt into place before it blows away. That's the goal. All right, I see it's starting to melt. Okay, it looks like we've actually got a pretty good seat to the board along both sides. Now to make absolutely certain I don't have any weak solder joints, I am just going to go ahead and hit each one of these with an iron. It would probably be okay exactly like it is, but with this connector being completely wide open on both sides, it's, it's sort of hard to resist. So we're going to take some 6337 leaded solder and just go ahead and run down through here and touch each one of these pins just a little bit. Now, as I'm doing this, I'm keeping the hot air in my left hand and I typically keep the board warmed up really well. Otherwise, whenever I get to a ground pin, the little micro pencil just doesn't have quite enough heating power to be able to make it happen. We're just gonna finish this row here and then uh, flip it around and do the other side. Hmm. I knew this smashed end cap was gonna be a problem. That's nothing a little heave ho and a micro pencil can't fix. Oh yeah, baby. There we go. Yeah, it looks brand new. Perfect. All right, let's go ahead and solder this other row of pins. Hmm, looks like we're gonna need some more heat and some more flux. There we go. Now just come back through here with an iron and make everything look nice and pretty. And there we go. We've got plenty of heat. The ground pads are sticking very well. Almost done. I'm going to finish soldering all of the pins and the end caps, and then we're going to give it one last float. All right, so that's pretty much all the pins. Uh, let's see, we got this one last ground joint. There we go. And now I'll just start warming this thing right on up so we can give it one last float. This gives me an opportunity to kind of straighten it out and make sure everything is just, uh, I don't know, pretty. There we go. We're pretty well up to temp here. Oh yeah, beautiful. It's just marvelous. So there you have it. This thing has a brand spanking new connector on it. And it's too gummed up with flux and everything for me to test right now. So I'm just going to go ahead and run it through the ultrasonic cleaner. I don't see anything below this bottom shield that's going to cause me trouble. So that'll make cleaning this up really easy. Uh, once I get it cleaned up, I'm going to put it back in the housing and make sure we get a good image. We get touch and uh, get it back out to the customer. So uh, that is going to be the end of this one. I do thank you all for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Have a good day. All right, we are all cleaned up and dried up nice and pretty. It actually looks really well with the exception of this one end down here that was a little bit dinged up, but the rest of the connector looks pretty much brand new. So the real question, is it going to work? Oh yeah, baby. I guess as far as this donor board's concerned, since it's not actually my donor board, I'll go ahead and clean it up for the next guy. I'll just flood it really fast with some leaded solder. And then we'll just wick it right on up. Oh yeah, baby. Nice and pretty.